Hi, I thought I'd put together a quick video showing you how to combine videos in Blender. Um, you can see down here below I got a little video of a blue whale. And then also I have a, another one, an underwater scene. So I want to combine these. How do you do that? As you can see, the nodes aren't that complex. Uh, so I'll show you the two ways that I know how to do that. If I open a new Blender session, go to compositing uh, down below if I go to the movie clip editor I can open a couple of files I'll open the CE there's my C and then I can open up the blue whale and then in the top part of the compositor if I click use nodes get rid of the render layer then I can add uh, a couple movie clip input nodes and on the top, choose the C. On the bottom, if I choose the blue well, then we can do something with these. Uh, take the image output and look for the keying node. And down here at the bottom, you can see there's the key color. And I can use the eyedrop here and select the shade of green um, that I want to use as the output. And I have Node Wrangler. Uh, in, active and if you go to preferences uh, add-ons and then look at node wrangler you can turn that on it gives you some nice shortcuts um, like this one if you hit shift control and then click on a node and if it'll show you the output of that node and if you click through again it'll sort of cycle through the outputs so it gives you some idea of what that image is going to look with that green uh, removed. So if I go to, if I take that output and put it through a separate color node, I can take the alpha and then set it through a color ramp. And if we take a look at that, you can see that it's kind of rough around the edges there. But if I crank up this black, it kind of cleans that up quite a bit. And then I can take this image, put it into a mix node as the factor, send this into the viewer, and then image one will be the background. And uh, image two will be the whale. And there you have it. And you can play around with some of these values and you can look up the documentation as to what exactly they do. Um, sometimes it has a hard edge and I like adding a little feather distance to kind of make a softer transition. And then if you want to output the file, uh, another node ringer thing is control. Uh, sorry. Shift and then rice, uh, right mouse button slash across the noodle. It'll add a node. Uh, if you hit control and right mouse slash, it cuts it. And you can send that to the composite so you can uh, uh, output that. It doesn't just send it to the viewer. Uh, the other way you can do it. In color, there's an alpha over node, and you can take this mat, use that as the factor, and then send again the two images into the node and send that out. And you can see there's a little bit more of a green outline, but you can take the, the color ramp and put it on that mat output and kind of adjust it to get rid of some of the, the green uh, lingering uh, outline on it, or try to. And so those are the two different ways you can do it. You can uh, send this out, um, pick an output directory. Uh, you can either send it as a, you output it as a PNG or a MPEG video, uh, whichever you like. and. Uh, that's about it. Um, it's pretty quick.